lived in a place where you couldn't go in the Orange Bowl unless if you were black, unless you sat in the, in the end zone seats. And you had 45 end zone seats, and if you didn't get there in time, you just didn't get to see a game. As it has evolved through all of the time that we've spent here, and now from that rickety old stadium over there in Miami where we practiced at a baseball field and we could never go 100 yards because it wasn't 100 yards there. We used to have to go 60 yards this way and 40 yards this way. So clearly, this organization has come a long, long way. I don't know why, but it's very special to be able to say that you're part of an elite group of people from this organization that happen to put up the best numbers of anybody at any time in any space in professional football. And that part to me is important, and uh, I accept this honor on behalf of my teammates from that era who were able to amass a great record that still is the standard for excellence in professional sport. And I'm glad that after this time that the Dolphins see fit to, uh, to honor me for the accomplishments that, uh, that I've had. I've been fortunate enough to have the people around me to have that happen. I just want to clear up a couple of things. About three weeks ago, on Sunday Night Football, Al Michaels proposed a circumstance where they showed a picture of Mercury Morris in third at 5.2, 5.1, excuse me. Jim Brown in second at 5.1. And this kid, Charles, at 5.5. And I just want to tell you right now that that was made up because Jim Brown is first at 5.2. Mercury Morris is second at 5.1. Gil Sayers and Barry Sanders are third tied for 5.0 and nobody else is in the club. So if you had to do it in the style of the Olympic medals, where does that place Charles? Because you have to have quit in order for a career stat to be put up on TV. And I say there was nothing more than a grandstand play by Al Michaels to make themselves look good, but not at our expense. 5.1 yards per carry. I told Jim Brown in 1996, before Barry Sanders had retired, how honored I felt to be between these two guys, Gail Sears and Jim Brown, as the only players to manage a five-yard career. And I said, I know I'm there because I had a great line. And Jim Brown said, no, you was there because you was a great runner, too. They got them high-priced slaves playing today. They gain a thousand yards, but they carry a thousand times. I carried 750, 804 at the end. I'm very proud of that statistic, and it would not have happened had I not been playing for a team that had amassed a bunch of guys that came from every place in the country to come together at that particular time and celebrate this. That's first in terms of, of what, my, what my history is in terms of here and how I feel about it. And this right here is obviously a step in the right direction towards honoring those players who gave what they gave from an individual standpoint back then. So I'm, I'm proud of this. and. and I, I joke with Nat, and Nat and I go around and run because he still hasn't gotten over when I hazed him in 1974. <laughs> and I mean, he still hasn't gotten over it. But it's, it's just an honor to see how this whole thing amassed. And I really had no expectation of being, being up here because uh, I, I wore this jacket only because that tricked me into it. <laughs> but I'm going to wear it proudly, and on that day, I'm going to wear it with a great amount of enthusiasm, knowing full well that somebody at one point took the time out to see exactly what Mercury Morris gave to this system and to this team. And I take this and accept it for all my teammates and the guys that were around back at that time, and I just want to say thanks.